What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And today's episode I want to talk about possibly the most overlooked prospect in the whole state of North Dakota. Uh, before we get in the video, I just want to quickly say if you're a fan of basketball, um, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the channel, join the conversation. Uh, we love to interact with you guys in the comments. And um, please watch this video all the way to the end because it helps us out more than you guys know. So uh, let's get right into the video. Today I want to talk about Jesse White. Um, he is, like I mentioned earlier, possibly the most overlooked um, prospect in the state of North Dakota. By overlooked, I mean by college coaches, scouts, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, I know people in the state of North Dakota and other um, basketball people have recognized how good of a player he is. However, I think he's not getting some of the looks that he deserves when it comes to uh, being recruited for college. So a little background on Jesse White, he uh, plays for White Shield, uh, it's a Class B school in North Dakota. He was just recently named Mr. Basketball for the state of North Dakota. His senior year he averaged 28 points per game and also towards the end of the senior year he um, became the second leading scorer of all time in North Dakota high school basketball history um, with 2,738 career points. That is absolutely absolutely insane to think of somebody scoring that many points in their high school career. Now, um, judging uh, or just watching his game, he obviously is super flashy, he's super, um, he's athletic, he's quick, he can handle the ball, he can shoot the ball. Uh, really, he can pass, he can make his teammates better. Um, I know he had a, they had a, his team in high school senior had a better season than they were expecting and that in a large part had to do because of him and just the leader he was and um, how good of a teammate he was. But now looking at why he, I feel like he's a little overlooked, um, I think it would be unfair to, to mention that he was born with a birth defect on his left hand and basically he doesn't have full fingers on his left hand, I guess. Um, they're kind of kind of like nubs, I guess, for his fingers on his left hand. And um, you can look, you know, look up some other news reports. I know there is some some different um, news segments about that and about him in high school. Uh, so look, just look him up on YouTube and you'll be sure to find those. So he does have that birth defect on his hand. Along with that, he is only listed at 5'11". So um, he is a little, I wouldn't say undersized, but he's not, you know, the typical over six foot, you know, 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", shooting guard that a lot of uh, colleges are looking for. However, at 5'11", uh, point guard, shooting guard, he, definitely should be able to play at a lot more schools than are looking at him. And uh, right now he has one offer um, that I know of or have seen from NDSCS at junior college. And um, it seems like a couple other junior colleges like Lake Region um, um, and a couple other ones are looking at him, but really he's not getting the, the respect or the looks that I think he deserves. I mean, really I think some more D2 schools should be looking at him. I think he could for sure play at the Division II level, however, uh, I think some coaches are kind of weary to look at him or bring him on because of, you know, these couple couple things that uh, might not be perfect about his game or about him, I guess, with his hand and being, you know, just a little undersized. Uh, really, I think um, a lot of schools are just hoping he goes to a junior college for a year or two and then they can recruit him from there. And if that's the case, I think Jesse will do just fine at junior college level. I think he'll he'll do really well, um, be there for a year or two, and then eventually, you know, uh, depending on how good those years are, but go D2 or um, who knows, maybe a mid-major, low-major D1. But really for him, the sky's the limit. It seems like he's uh, super determined. He um, is using all of this as motivation, you know, playing the chip on his shoulder. Uh, he was never meant to make it this far or be this good at basketball, I guess, should, I guess I should say. But leave in the comments down below what your thoughts are on Jesse White, if you ever heard of him. Um, you know, what your opinion is on his game, about him not getting the looks that, um, you know, I think a lot of people think he deserves. Um, so leave it in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.